Hey YouTube, Moose Cow here, back with another recap of my game with Madman of uh, BBR3 uh, uh, with our expansion uh, house rule tests that, we're, that we've been doing. Here is the Boneyard Dish casualty bin. Not a ton of stuff, see more Vichy units, um, another neutral, some Russians, Chinese, nothing too crazy. Turn one is still the bloodiest round so far. Germany is pushing in to uh, Russia. Battle in the Baltics. I managed to get a few uh, Germans out of that. Um, push in, they pushed into Karelia. Managed to get a hit there. Uh, pushed into Western Ukraine and Bessarabia. Um, surprisingly, he did not go into Belarus. Which I was what I was expecting him to do. Um, then from that point, he just basically sent as much stuff as he could in this direction. Um, so over here, it's a little frail right now, but I don't have enough to do anything about that just yet. Uh, Russia didn't do any combats. Um, moved the sub. My my convoy. Uh, I missed on the convoy, so I only deducted one IPC from that. Sub went over to Iceland. I got a destroyer on the Lend-Lease, so that's fun. And um, just basically moved things back, brought stuff down from Archangel, brought the units, the fast movers up from Northwest Iran, um, moved the, raw, the uh, Ukraine factory back, brought stuff back to Moscow. Um, not sure it's gonna be enough, even with the extra fighter that I received from my Lend-Lease last turn. Um, and then I moved a unit from Tunguska down into Kanzu to help the Chinese. No action over here so far. Then right, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Japan. Um, pushed into China, took Yunnan, took Kwai Chow. Uh, Kwai Chow was a walk-in and he just brought everything in there. Landed uh, air units. Um, into uh, Quangzi. We like to refer to these as Mo, Larry, Curly, just because they all sound very similar, especially over the phone. So, little trick of the trade. <laughs> um, Manchuria is very healthy. Again, if I failed to mention this before, he built a factory in there on uh, turn one. Uh, Japan has their tech activated. They have shipyards, so they have uh, they built or sorry, he built a bunch of super subs. That's, or not super subs, sorry, just subs. Cheap subs, so seven submarines he built. Um, and then we got another interesting thing here. Uh, the Navy took New Zealand. That's new, that's exciting. I've never seen that before, neither has he. So Japan controls New Zealand. The, uh, the New Zealander that was there did get a hit, so uh, knocked off the Japanese infantry. Um, and, uh, let's see, Japan controls Solomon Islands, Gilbert Islands. They had lost Wake Island previously, um, but that is the situation over here. And, uh, then regrouping from the Gilbert, the forces from the Gilbert Islands to the Caroline Islands. And over here, still a little weak. None of the Money Islands have been touched yet. Um... French Indochina has been retaken with the Siam, with the, sorry, Thailand. This is Siam on the map, but now it's Thailand. So the Thai and Japanese went in there, took that back. There were two British units. They didn't get any hits. Two British infantry. Um, and uh, there's that. The U.S. didn't do any combats in the Pacific, but moved everything from here, here, to... Uh, Aleutian Islands in Alaska, built a factory in Alaska, um, kind of took everything off that way. He's going south, I'm going north. Yes, we're playing this dance. Uh, and then over here, nothing terribly crazy, but the U.S. did take um, Morocco back from the Italians. So that's cool. And then the remaining Brazilians were brought over to uh, French West Africa. Um... Let's see, what else? Mm, I 
thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking. Mm, they didn't do anything else over here, pretty much. They brought more, uh, you know, they landed, brought more air units into Gibraltar, but that's about it. So that was the only combat the U.S. did this turn. Everything is basically just maneuvering and trying to dance, you know. Um, then going from there, China. Everything was in Shensi, took out the three Japanese units in Hopei, uh, and then took out the Japanese unit that was left in um, uh, Suyen. Landing the Flying Tiger in Kanzu, new infantry placed in Kanzu, and uh, one placed in Suyen. Um, I lost uh, two infantry here, so uh, I attacked. He had an artillery and two infantry. Uh, my first round of combat was not very good. And, uh, but I still managed to take it, so that's okay. Um, then from there, um, after China, goes the UK. So UK was fun. UK took um, uh, Egypt back. They also took uh, Iran. So now they got the whole um, Middle Earth strategy going. I built a factory and a naval base in Iraq. Five infantry in India. Moved some guys into Burma. Um, and so on and so forth right over there. And then um, moved my air force from Gibraltar to Malta. And uh, yeah, basically, because this is Italian, the Italian units were over here in 92, so they, this is safe. And this is safe because there's no, you can't go get new units and come back right away, so. Um, the Prunch, the train of thought there. Uh, Malaya is still heavily fortified. Um, what else? What else? Um, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, they took out the Vichy unit in Syria. So this is now Syrian controlled. Or sorry, not Syrian controlled, British controlled. Um, and brought up the transports here, this way and that way. Um, so on and so forth. Um, Italy. Uh, didn't do any combats either, and just uh, re pulled everything. Um, oh, this is incorrect. He moved this to nine. Sorry, I moved it to here. He moved this to ninety-five. My mistake. So that's all in ninety-five. And as you can see, he's turtling. Southern Italy is a bit of a mess right now. I got lazy and didn't want to ship things. Um, but all that is in southern Italy. Uh, and then he railed units to Bulgaria and uh, joining the Germans up here. Yes, this is a mess. Yes, I didn't bother to chip this out. I apologize. But all of this here is all in Western Ukraine. And all of this here is in Eastern Poland. And that's what's in Baltic states. I'll fix him later. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, then going on from there, while I'm over here, Canada built a destroyer, brought more units down to French Guiana, brought units to Gibraltar. Um, yeah, the units that were up the coast of, or sorry, that were in Eastern United States went to Gibraltar. And the units um, in French Guiana stayed there, but another artillery came down. So that's fun. Then from there, let's see, from there, Go to oh yeah these units those these units whether they're Canada or Anzac that's up to you but they move to they move back to Egypt across Transjordan and then over here Anzac is just kind of turtling because there's the possibility of a Japanese invasion I don't think he's gonna do it he could do it but basically just built three infantry sent the fighter that I landed here back to Malaya it's kind of helped fortify that and help out over here because I don't have enough, I don't have any air force over here right now other than what's in over here. Maybe it's on the way, maybe it's not. Maybe it's going to Russia, maybe it's not. Who knows? I'm not gonna answer that question right now. All right, um, and then that leads to the most important development, France. Yes, important. We are playtesting uh, Vichy and Free France rules. And as we've been playing this game, we have uh, uh, chosen, um, made a few mod moderations. So, um, let's see, one of the biggest things 
is this and O. Is this one? Yes, okay. So, um, if uh, these go Vici, and we consider these axis controlled, then this is pretty much money handed to Italy. And uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just completely handed to Italy. And at first I wasn't opposed to that, but since we, that was before we did a roll off and we haven't done a historical version yet. So now that we've done a historical version, because it's not necessarily a guarantee that Italy is going to go with that, get these territories in a roll off, um, but a historical version they will. So um, this uh, rule is changed a little bit. It's uh, uh, what, we, what we decided on. It's changed a little bit. Um, it still exists, but um, if Vici is established, what we're doing is if Vici is established and then the, all these three territories here are Vici controlled, um, then this rule is null. If the uh, allies take one of these three territories and Italy takes it back, this NO, and they control, you know, El Alamein, if Italy takes it back, which they did uh, on turn two, then they would get the five IPCs for this. So, because on turn one we did incorporate this, um, he had already received five IPCs for it, so we didn't give him five IPCs, we deducted five IPCs from this round, since he already got those five IPCs, because on turn one, uh, all three of those ter ter territories were Vici. Make sense? So, again, if all three of these territories are Vici, and Italy has these three territories, they don't get this NO. If the Allies take back, one of these Vici territories, at least one of these Vici territories, and Italy or Germany or whoever Axis takes the three ter takes the t the required territories back, then Italy gets the NO. Sound fair? If you have any quips, suggestions, or um, complaints, throw it in the comments. I'd like to hear what you think. <laughs> um, and then, more so on France, we decided. Um, so. Free France, they get the Lendleys. Oh, by the way, they got a mech this turn. Oh my god, they got a mech. France has a mech in the game, a unit that nobody uses. This is an HBG mech. It is not the out-of-box mech. That's a, that's just a blue Soviet mech. But France has a piece in the game. We have a su French sub. We have a French mech. Does it affect... And we have a French tank. Does it affect the game very much? Not really. But it's cool. <laughs> All right. Um... At least not yet. Um, so, because we're doing historical, we had two infantry start off in French Equatorial Africa to balance that, so they would have something to work with. We are now changing that. They start off with one French Equatorial Af uh, unit in e Equatorial Africa. However, now that all those territories go Vichy, any time a free French territory is liberated, with exception to um, Casablanca and French Guiana because they have no IPC value, and with exception to French uh, Indochina because it's so far away. Anytime a Vichy territory, specifically a Vichy territory, so if this were get liberated, you wouldn't get one. If New Hebrides got liberated, you wouldn't get one. But anytime a Vichy territory is liberated, um, then a, a French unit, infantry unit, is placed down in that territory automatically. So French Madagascar, um, UK came in and dropped off a dude, liberating French Madagascar, place a French unit down there, and then theoretically at the end of last turn, because uh, that was kind of a retroactive thing, that infantry then hopped onto the transport, and then and you know and then he went up here, um, and uh, the transport went up here, and then on France's turn, offloaded into into Egypt. So that is how that happened. Um, so we had again, we had given two units. He he moved here, liberated that territory. Um, so he would have gotten one for here. Then we had the fighter and those two units attack the Vichy unit here, which killed one of them. But because he took the territory, he gets another. He gets another one. He replenishes it. So two infantry. They, those two infantry then moved here, and then when the U.S originally um, took Morocco and liberated it um, they got another territory that's uh, right another infantry retroactively we rolled that unit against the Italians um, when they invaded retroactively didn't get hit and then this turn the Americans invaded um, again Morocco or no sorry it was the British that invaded first time the 
previously. This time the Americans did invade, invaded Morocco and captured it. Um, so another infantry pops up there. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe this guy shouldn't be there. I'll clarify this with him. But let me know what you think in the comments. That might be excessive. Maybe it has to be Vichy. So, uh, anyway, um, so that is our Free France idea and their economy and how to make, how to incorporate France into play and make it a little more interesting and have that Vichy element and have that Free France element. Uh, make France way more interesting to play because France is, let's say, let's face it, France is very scripted. It's boring. Um, and again, we have three IPCs for France. So um, again, they have a halved economy because they don't have their capital. So it's half rounded down. So that means, unfortunately, they only get one. So now they finally have three IPCs and Free France can only buy infantry. So next turn, they can buy an infantry and they can place it in any Free French territory they control. So right now, they can only place, they can only place it in this area. So, and they can't rail. So, because there's no factories, so they can't rail. So, they can place in any of these three territories, kind of similar to China, because they're, you know, destabilized or what have you. But that's kind of the idea. So they can place a, a, that infantry that they buy in any of these territories, and they will continue to get a Lend-Lease. We have also bumped up the Lend-Lease a little bit. So right now, um, no changes to the units. Right now, a roll of a one is an artillery. A roll of two is a mech. A roll of three is a tank. A roll of four is either a transport or a sub. And a roll of a five or a six was previously one IPC, but because of the limitations of everything, we are now bumping both of five or six up to two dollars or two IPCs. So that will help, um, but re within reason. And again, they can only buy infantry. So that is our free France idea. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the free France and uh, Vichy um, uh, ideas. Oh yeah, to touch again. Um, Vichy gets the, the extent of their economy or support, they get a lend lease where a re recruitment roll. They have to roll a one or a two, and if they roll a one or a two, they get a free Vichy infantry that they get to place down in any Vichy territory they control. So far, he's been placing them in France, in southern France. He didn't get one this turn. Um, and yeah, so that is, that is, that's it. That's it right now for France and Vichy France. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if you've been watching this far and uh, are interested in the idea. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, whatever, you know. Um, anyway, uh, in the meantime, um, we may pick up tomorrow. I wasn't sure if we'd be playing tonight, but um, my work didn't uh, leave me as exhausted as previously. Um, so uh, we decided to power through it and do another round, and it turned out fairly okay. Um, so yeah, uh, this is turn four uh, that we're going to play next, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. Um, so very important thing for turn four, we went ahead and re-rolled the tech. Japan's tech is already active, and uh, I didn't put it down yet. Did I put it down? No, I didn't put it down. I'll find it, but um, Japan has shipyards. So not that, but Japan has shipyards. Germany did not get their tech, so they're still at hold. Russia also did not get their tech. I only paid for four bucks. He paid for three, three dice. I paid for four dice. Neither of us got it. America and UK both got their tech, and they paid five. So now there are two techs active. Three, sorry, three techs active. And uh, Anzac and Canada, they are, in, they are now in hold as well. And they rolled a one, so they only have to pay. They only have to pay one buck. Here is the income for anybody who's curious. The Reich point is at fifty nine. Um, oh, and to touch up on Spain, I didn't. I, I did not mention this on our first video. So originally we were thinking about if the Reich point is at sixty. Uh, if it's at seventy, Spain uh, can then choose to in, uh, join the war or not. We were thinking if they were at 60, they can then spend money and make non-combat moves, but they can't declare war, right? But because of how fast this went, we're now making it so Spain, the, the Reich point has to get to 65, and then Spain can at least perform non-combat moves and make purchases. And then once it gets to 70, the, once the Reich point gets to 70, then they can choose to join the war or not. If it dips below 70, then they, they're back to non-combat moves or nothing. 
And if it gets back up to 70, they can choose to join or not. So Spain's a little time bomb. I'm rambling on uh, past my uh, usual limit of 20 minutes. So uh, we'll see if we resume this tomorrow. Hopefully both of us will roll the dice, will, will roll the dice better and uh, make this a uh, interesting game because it is certainly a very interesting game even though we're play you know we're play testing but it's a very interesting game um, so see you later <laughs>